it's Rick, Lisa, and Mr. Nikki. We're back again. Yes, surprise, we surprise. I saw this thing. It said um, innocent acts that are actually rude. Oh, really? And there's like 40 of them, but I picked a handful to talk about. See, so like, these are things people do and they don't give it a second thought, but right. they're rude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're you, not trying to be offensive. Using your speakerphone in public. Does that bother you? Somebody's having a conversation, they're in the grocery store, and you can hear it in It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. No. If it's a good conversation, it doesn't bother me. If it's <laughs> but, a good conversation, okay. But if they're loud, it's like, mm -hmm. then it's bothersome. Um, overstaying your welcome. Yeah, some people aren't good at social cues. Yeah, that's a hard one because you, you don't know. It's better if somebody puts a time frame, like let's get together between, you know, Six and eight, but or to, whatever. but to Just the uh, to the person that doesn't get good social cues, that doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's like, oh, I've yeah. been in that situation. Or you get you get up, <laughs> put your hands together. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what what else you got? Uh, wearing strong fragrance. Oh yeah. My mother never Ooh. liked it, and you never liked I it, don't. so I stay away from from colognes. But if somebody comes in, it's like, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. now I remember back when we everybody had uh, landlines, right? Mm -hmm. Remember those. Uh, somebody who used a heavy perfume, you pick it up and uh, you could still smell it, and, and it would rub off on you. Ooh, these are innocent acts that they say are actually rude. Okay. See what you think. Not RSVPing. You know, I, I think yeah. I've noticed that a lot over the last years. You know, in our parents' generation, they wanted to be proper, make sure they gave people the you know the notice they needed. Right. <clears throat> but as, as we've gotten more spur of the moment with cell phones and digital, I don't think people. You know, and I think that there's some selfishness to that, where it's like, well, I'm going to keep that open. I'm not going to commit myself until right. I'm sure that's what I want to do. And that's rude. Or you put it on the, I've done that. You put it somewhere, and then you forget about it. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, oh, but yeah, if that, you know that happens sure, with bills sometimes. Like you're definitely going, then right. RSVP right away. I think away. some people like, like to like to hold the hold option. It up. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, not introducing someone in a social situation. Well, that's easy to everybody do. Everybody knows everybody right. except this person. If that happens, it's probably because I forget what your name is. Right. Like one of you, like in that social circle. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> have you ever done that? Call yeah, somebody well, by the wrong there, name. There's like, there, well, like there's there's one chance to get that name, <laughs> and after that, you look like you feel like a jerk anyway. If you have to ask again, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, that's prominent. Like say in the gym, you know somebody that's on the treadmill next to you. You've talked to them. Mm -hmm. You know their whole life, but you don't know their name. Right. And you never exchange names at the get go. Right. And it's too late now to say, by the way, what's your name? And when you go to introduce somebody, it's like I forget what yeah. their name is. Um, and uh, finally, in the ones that I pulled out here for today, not cleaning up after your pet. Now. That's rude, and I've yeah. seen you sometimes when we're in a place where it's like a wooded area. You're like, ah, it's well, all right well, out there. But it's biodegradable. Nobody's gonna walk in. I'm not gonna put it out in the middle. Of, it's like people have horses. <laughs> they go in the middle. You know, these big clumps in the middle of a path. I always try to clean it up. I know I you do. I, yes, I do. Yeah. I go after it. Where is that? Oh, and if mm. it's not easy to pick up, mm. then it, yeah. But there's nothing worse than being on one of the rail trails and there's a big pile of poop, and it's like. Man, you couldn't pick that up? Like, mm -hmm. maybe you didn't have a bag or something like that. I don't know. Clean up after yourself. Yeah, we'll talk to you again soon. Rick and Lisa, same bad time, same bad channel.